Scrabble TV. So we're up here with Chef Christina at Taproom 119. So let's take a look and see what she's going to do. I'm going to start with my sourdough bread. We're going to toast it and add our Swiss cheese to it. And while that's toasting, I'm going to take my pork belly um, and I deep fry it after it's been braised and pressed overnight. Now that uh, our bread is toasted and the cheese is melted, we're going to add the other ingredients. So pickles, um, red onions, and next is our white sauce, which is mayonnaise and horseradish based. So what gave you the idea to come up with the sandwich? You know, a traditional Cuban has like mustard on it, but I kind of thought um, horseradish would go nicely. I want to change it up, just not do the basic sandwich, right. you know, make it my own. Our pork belly has been fried for you know, about three minutes, I'd say, nice and crispy. We have the Swiss cheese, the house-made pickles, horseradish sauce, and red onions. All right, Christina, so what are you going to make for us next? Uh, we're going to make a brown butter sage milkshake and spike it with bourbon. Nice. My kind of milkshake. Okay. And then we add our malted milk mixture. I have a piece of sage. We're going to deep fry it. And a piece of dried fig that we're going to brulee. And that's our garnishing. All right, great. That looks awesome. I am so excited. Thank you for showing me around in your kitchen, and I'll meet you downstairs so I get to try it. Thank you. Yay. Mmm. <laughs> Wash so it down with some milkshake. Mm. Yes. <laughs> Oh shit, that milkshake is really good. <laughs> <laughs> so having worked for Chef Elijah and Chef David over at Morgan's Pier, those two cuisines are so different. So how did it end up bringing you here to upscale Stoner Cuisine? Well, um, Chef Elijah was here and he thought of me. Uh, he was like, hey, I really like Christina. We worked really well together at Stateside. So uh, he offered me a position and of course, I'm going to work with Elijah. He's an amazing chef and he's taught me so much. So um, when I came here, it was, you know, something I haven't done before, mm -hmm. but, um, you know, I pick up on things fast. What kind of research did you do for food that would really target kind of a, a stoner? Because really the face of people who smoke weed has really changed a lot. So like there's like grandmas and shit yeah. and like dads and doctors <laughs> and stuff. So. What kind of research did you do to kind of come up with some of these things that would really appeal to that kind of crowd? Well, do you smoke weed yourself? I do. Okay. Yeah. You know, the kitchen is so stressful sometimes. It's just like a nice way to come down from the hectic craziness. When I go home, you know, it's nice to just unwind. So, um, and then, you know, while I'm at home, I do a lot of my menu planning and that's based off your off of higher my, thoughts, my okay. hunger while I, <laughs> I'm relaxing, you know. Ultimately, I'm like, I'm pretty hungry right now, and then come up with some of my cool ideas, you know. So I really feel like, you know, this is going to be the next new thing. I think a lot of people are going to be picking up on weed because it's such a huge political issue now, and it's it playing such a huge part in mm -hmm. culture and the direction it's going and stuff. What makes you and your food stand out from everybody else that's going to kind of start going this direction? I use high quality ingredients with cool twists on um, items that people are familiar with. Who thinks of Cool Ranch French fries? You know, um, people who are really high. <laughs> <laughs> I think 
that you have a great future ahead of you and Thank you're you. doing amazing food and Thank for someone much. like me who smokes a shit ton of weed this will be <laughs> my go-to place for sure thank you so much girl thank it you was awesome and uh, i look forward to seeing you and all your future endeavors thank you so much for coming yeah, absolutely babe thanks delicious thank you yes cheers